Have you ever imagined traveling from New York to London in a mere 17 minutes? You might think I'm out of my mind. Covering over 5,000 kilometers in such a short time sounds like a fantasy, right? But believe it or not, this isn't just wishful thinking. Recent reports indicate that China has developed a groundbreaking supersonic jet engine poised to transform the commercial aviation landscape, challenging conventional travel norms, and outpacing traditional engines. So how superior is this engine? Can China replace famous engine manufacturers like Rolls-Royce and GE, dominating the aviation industry? Let's explore. The aviation industry is on the verge of a major shift as Western engine manufacturers may no longer hold exclusive dominance. Why said that? Because China has developed an entirely new jet engine. This is not just an ordinary engine, but a marvel of modern engineering, a testament to human creativity and persistence. Previously, a Chinese company called Comac successfully created the C919 aircraft, not merely a flying machine, but a symbol of a new era in aviation, embodying pride in Chinese innovation in the commercial aviation sector. So, now they can completely trust in their new creation. Over two decades have passed since Concord's final flight touched down, ending the dream of a supersonic jet that could revolutionize commercial air travel. Now, the race is on as companies and organizations across the aviation industry strive to bring back aircraft that can soar faster than the speed of sound. Recently, Boom Supersonic, a US-based company, emerged as one of the closest contenders to reintroduce supersonic passenger jets. Yet a team of Chinese engineers has now joined the fray, claiming they've developed the world's most powerful detonation engine for supersonic flights, according to a report by the South China Morning Post. SCMP for short. However, what is the supersonic jet engine? The supersonic jet engine is a type of jet engine designed to operate efficiently at speeds exceeding the speed of sound, which is faster than Mach 1, which is approximately 1,235 kilometers per hour or 767 miles per hour at sea level. These engines are capable of providing the powerful thrust necessary for supersonic jet aircraft, allowing them to travel at speeds many times higher than conventional aircraft. So what makes this new engine so remarkable? Designed by Zheng Yining and his team at the North Beijing Electric Machinery Institute, this advanced engine holds the potential to completely transform aviation. According to SCMP, this revolutionary air-breathing engine could propel aircraft from the runway to an altitude of over 30 kilometers into the stratosphere, and then continuously accelerate up to 16 times the speed of sound. In more detail, this revolutionary air-breathing engine could, in theory, propel an aircraft to speeds reaching Mach 16, which is over 12,250 miles per hour at an altitude of 30 kilometers. To give some perspective, the Concorde's top cruising speed was Mach 2.04 comma, while the retired Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird achieved speeds above Mach 3. With an aircraft capable of cruising at Mach 16, even the longest intercontinental flights could be completed in under two hours. A transatlantic journey from New York to London, which currently takes around seven hours, would be reduced to a mere 17 minutes. At such speeds, SCMP reports, even the longest intercontinental flights would only require one to two hours while consuming significantly less fuel than conventional jet engines. Unfortunately, there is limited information available about this groundbreaking detonation engine, aside from details outlined in a published design in the peer-reviewed Chinese Journal of Propulsion Technology last December. According to the research paper, the engine operates in two modes. Below Mach 7, it functions as a rotating detonation engine. In this mode, outside air mixes with fuel and combusts, creating shockwaves that travel within an annular or ring-shaped chamber. As the shockwaves rotate, they ignite more fuel, generating a continuous and powerful thrust for the aircraft. At speeds above Mach 7, the shockwaves stop rotating and concentrate on a circular platform at the back of the engine. This setup, according to the paper, maintains thrust through an almost linear oblique detonation format. Fuel automatically ignites upon reaching the rear platform due to the high speed of incoming airflow. Primarily driven by explosive force, this engine operates very differently from traditional jet engines used in commercial aircraft. Meanwhile, Boom's Overture supersonic jet currently in development, will be equipped with its Symphony Medium Bypass Turbofan engine. Designed to run entirely on sustainable aviation fuel, this engine will deliver enough thrust to sustain Overture's steady Mach 1.7 cruising speed. 
Another major advantage of a detonation engine over a traditional turbofan engine is the thermodynamic efficiency. Theoretically, detonation engines can convert nearly 80% of chemical energy into kinetic energy. On the other hand, conventional turbofan engines achieve 20 to 30% efficiencies as they rely on slow and gentle combustion. However, Zhang and his colleagues have not disclosed the efficiency of the engine. This solution has obvious advantages and is expected to improve the optimal thermodynamic cycle efficiency in nearly all speed ranges, bringing a revolutionary change in aerospace propulsion, the team behind the revolutionary engine said. Traditional RR and GE engines have actually been very efficient and sometimes surprise us with their performance parameters. So how do they compare to Chinese engines? China's supersonic jet engine is heralding a new chapter in aviation, showcasing significant differences compared to traditional engines like those from Rolls-Royce and GE. While conventional engines typically perform efficiently at speeds below Mach 1, the new supersonic engine is designed to achieve speeds of up to Mach 5.4 within the atmosphere and Mach 25 in space. Its use of a combination of hydrogen and oxygen as fuel promises to reduce environmental impacts compared to engines that rely on traditional kerosene fuel. However, a major challenge for the supersonic engine is managing the extreme heat generated at such high speeds. Traditional engines have efficient cooling designs for supersonic flight, whereas this new engine employs advanced cooling systems utilizing supercooled helium to maintain performance. Furthermore, the development of this engine reflects substantial investment from China's aerospace industry, highlighting collaborative efforts to catch up with global technology. These innovations not only offer the potential to transform the aviation landscape, but also open new opportunities for the development of ultrafast flights in the future. The advances made by China in supersonic technology signify a competitive shift in the industry, positioning the country as a key player in the race for the next generation of commercial aviation. Several companies are vying to turn this vision into reality, including Virgin Galactic, which recently unveiled the initial design sketches for a commercial jet capable of flying at speeds exceeding Mach 3, which is around 2,300 miles per hour. However, the next generation of aircraft aims to achieve a significant leap towards supersonic flight, promising speeds that surpass those of existing supersonic jets while operating at the edge of space. While the Concorde could complete the journey from London to New York in under three hours, these new supersonic jets could potentially make the trip in 60 minutes or less. Competing in this ambitious race, the UK-based aerospace company Reaction Engines is developing a unique engine that could make supersonic aviation a tangible reality. The supersonic engine, known as Sabre, utilizes a combination of hydrogen and oxygen as fuel. It can reach a maximum speed of Mach 5.4, equivalent to 4,000 miles per hour within Earth's atmosphere and accelerate to speeds five times the speed of sound at Mach 25, or 19,000 miles per hour, in space. Rolls-Royce's aerospace division is one of the primary backers of reaction engines and has continued to increase its investment in the company in recent months. The biggest hurdle currently facing the development of supersonic engines is cooling. Traveling at supersonic speeds generates excessive heat that can cause components to melt. To counter this, Reaction Engines' design includes small, supercooled helium tubes for cooling incoming air. The Oxfordshire-based aerospace company began test flights last year, but had to postpone due to the pandemic. However, if everything goes according to plan, we could witness the arrival of commercial supersonic jets by 2030. Wow, this looks like a pretty exciting race, and it's not just China. Do you think this is the future of aviation? Turning back to the promising supersonic engine from China. This engine represents not just a mechanical innovation, but a revolutionary advancement in aviation technology. While details about its specifications remain limited, it is designed to be powerful, efficient, and focused on minimizing fuel consumption while optimizing performance. Boeing and Airbus have long dominated the skies, setting standards for safety, reliability, and efficiency. However, these industry giants now face new challenges. China has successfully captured global attention with its Comac C919, which has garnered numerous orders, including from Western Airlines. This achievement underscores Comac's commitment to challenging the status quo and pushing the boundaries of what is possible in aviation. They are not just manufacturing aircraft, they are shaping the future of air travel. Their innovation demonstrates that breakthroughs can emerge from anywhere. 
Now, with the introduction of China's new supersonic engine, the country is achieving the seemingly impossible. This development signifies not merely competition, but an ongoing drive for progress and a relentless pursuit of excellence. The prospect of a future with rapid air travel becomes more tangible. According to you, will this remarkable engine enable China to compete on equal footing with established manufacturers like Rolls-Royce and General Electric? The emergence of this new jet engine technology represents a significant leap forward in the aviation industry. It's easy to dismiss the importance of a new engine, but this innovation promises to make air travel more efficient and affordable. Such advancements could transform how we travel, offering new routes and faster journeys while unlocking destinations that were previously too costly or time-consuming to reach. Of course, challenges remain. Will airlines trust a new competitor in this space? Leave your thoughts in the comment. Thanks, and see you next time.